In the past, all blockchains had one major flaw. They were either built for businesses or the retail consumer, and they made trade-offs one way or the other as a result. That honestly constrained their potential and held them back from mainstream adoption. But now that's changing because there's a new blockchain infrastructure out there that solves that very problem. It's called Parallel Chain, and it's super unique because it utilizes a dual blockchain approach. That's two layer one blockchains working in parallel, one as a business native permission platform built for enterprise use cases, while the second as an open source blockchain for DeFi apps and smart contracts. So Parallel Chain is looking to be the blockchain infrastructure that can serve both the Web2 and Web3 worlds with a single unified ecosystem. And today, we're gonna to dive into what they're all about. Now, with full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. But if you decide to keep watching, you'll find out how they have the latest tech, like native rollups and AI. Plus, I'll share with you what you can do to get their tokens for free. But before we get to all that, let's first break down each of their blockchains to find out what they're all about, starting with their permission chain. So this one was the first to launch and it was built with institutional adoption in mind. That isn't just some fancy buzzword, by the way. It means that their business platform was designed with some very specific requirements. For example, businesses need a platform that can handle their commercial scale application. So a few thousand transactions per second is not enough. They need something more on the scale of 100,000 transactions per second with sub-second latency, and that's exactly what Parallel Chain provides. Not only that, but privacy and confidentiality are a must because businesses can't just put their customer data on a public chain for the world to see, right? They need to own their own data and ensure that it stays private. So that's why Parallel Chain built a special algorithm to do just that. Also, it's super important for businesses to stay in compliance with regulations like the GDPR, because if they don't, they could get fined a fortune. So Parallel Chain was designed with compliance in mind, and any company that builds on their platform won't have to worry about that. But here's the thing, Parallel Chain didn't just build their platforms and be like, all right guys, you're on your own now. No, they built several other products that help businesses with very specific use cases. For example, eKYC Chain is a blockchain and biometric system that can do things like face scans, and that's incredibly useful for KYC, AML, and other internal business processes. A global fintech company called Paywiser is actually already using eKYC Chain to do identity verification on their applicants. But anyways, next there's Preventative Chain, which helps businesses with security management, aka making sure that they catch threats in real time and prevent them from doing any damage. And then there's approval chain, which helps track and manage the flow of goods in any supply chain network. And finally, there's chattel chain, a platform for creating asset-backed tokens. And this is great for businesses that wanna tokenize some asset for whatever reason. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep into any of these products, but they are super important to parallel chain. So I encourage you to go check them out further. Anyways, enough about the private blockchain. Let's get to the fun part, their public chain which just launched in 2023. This is a fast, cheap, and secure blockchain that's built for DeFi and metaverse apps. It's also open source and super scalable. I'm talking up to 80,000 transactions per second with their Hot Stuff RS proof of stake algorithm, which balances both performance and decentralization. It also supports Turing complete smart contracts written in Rust, which can be compiled into Wasm for higher performance. Like I said, it is live right now. So you can go to the Block Explorer to see the activity going on across their network. And for those of you wondering, yes, they do have a native token. It came out with their mainnet launch and it's called XPLL. It's the native currency for the network and it's used for gas, staking slash validating, and governance. It is inflationary, by the way, and you can see more details about their tokenomics on this table right here. But if we take a huge step back, we see that their permission chain is for Web2 apps, while this new public chain is for Web3 apps. And Parallel Chain brings both worlds together. They actually do this with their IPP, or Inter Parallel Chain Protocol. And that enables apps to work seamlessly across both blockchains. Just think about it. If businesses on the permission side could access the open DeFi side, they can bring some of the physical world to the digital world 
and create brand new use cases that weren't possible before. This isn't just some hypothetical, by the way. There are case studies of businesses that can benefit from this already. For example, some businesses are bringing their loyalty programs on chain to reduce the cost of issuance and improve transparency, among other things. Also, airports can join together to form a consortium and share data to improve their baggage tracking and overall security. And lastly, there's all sorts of supply chain management use cases that can use this public-private chain combination to run more efficiently. But that's not all for IP. Another huge benefit is that it enables shared security for networks on the permission chain. It does so by piggybacking off of the main net's consensus protocol to increase the overall security. So yeah, IPP is absolutely critical for parallel chain and it really takes it to a whole new level. All right, so by now you must think that parallel chain has quite the impressive tech and architecture, but what is the status of their project right now? Well, they recently released their testnet 4 in late June, and they also launched their full developer documentation along with that. They also announced a bunch of incentivized testnet activities for users and developers to participate in. That means that some XPLL tokens are up for grabs and you don't need to pay anything for them. But on the other hand, if you do want to trade it, there are some exchanges that list it currently with more to come soon. Honestly, I think this project is worth a closer look and a big reason why is because of their team. The R&D team behind this project is called Parallel Chain Lab and they look quite impressive. They have a distributed systems team for developing the blockchain and a data science team for their AI capabilities. And that's all part of their 40 plus full-time employees. They boast 10 patents for their blockchain scalability and privacy technologies in the US, EU, and China. And they've also landed big partnerships with companies like IBM and Digital China to expand their platform's capabilities. So yeah, if you're interested, you should go check out their missions to earn XPLL tokens on the mainnet. That's something everyone can do, and all you gotta do is use my link below.